Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good How evening. are you? Hello. Good hello, Oscar. Good evening. Uh, are you sick? Yes, I am oh sick. Oh my God. You yes. sound. <laughs> yes. And when when did it start? Today? No, last last night. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I, I saw you yesterday, but you didn't look that bad. I mean, but <laughs> today you look very sick. Yes, I'm very yes. sorry for that, Oscar. Well, but today okay. you're not going to be speaking that much. Don't worry. Thank you. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, Iris, Marbelli, Emma, Marlon. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. So, How are you? I'm doing great. How was your Friday? I'm good. I am happy. Today is very good. So I am happy to hear that, that it was a good day for you. Okay, so I hope uh, all the rest of your classmates are going to connect. I am going to send them a message that we are here. Maybe they just don't remember. But uh, thank you very much for sending me the message, right? To all the ones who send me the messages with your sentences. Okay. Okay, so today it's going to be a very productive day. We're going to check a lot about the, the platform. We are going to check that everything is complete and done. And for sure, we are going to leave everything ready so you can report that your platform is complete. So uh, that's what we are going to be doing today. And hopefully we're going to finish with everything, with unit four, five, and also with the uh, final tests, right? That's what we're going to be working on today. And for sure, everything will be done and completed by today. Have you had the chance to advance on the platform? Did you have to get the chance to go and enter and work on the exercises? Yes, no. Hello. Yes, I am in the last part in okay. the middle term. Okay, in the in the midterm or in the final? I think you turn oh, off your the microphone. final, the final. Okay, the final exams. Okay. What about you, Daisy? Where are you in the platform right now? In the section five. Section five. Okay, so I hope we are going to finish that by today. So you are going to be done with the platform in, I mean, with all the exercises on it. So I am going to open my, uh, my platform so we can start checking that. And for sure, we are going to take the best advantage of the night with this, okay? So, Without any further ado, we're going to share the screen and we're going to start working on it. So yesterday we were talking about permission, obligation, and what was the other one? We were talking about permission, obligation, and? Prohibition. Were... Okay, prohibition, right? Permission, obligation, and prohibition. And you were creating different examples about this. And for sure, I really appreciate all the ones that send them to me on the chat so I can check it, okay? I am going to start checking that tomorrow during the day so we can actually correct. Many of the sentences were correctly uh, written. So there was not that much to correct, but I am going to start answering each of the messages uh, during the morning tomorrow, okay? I will leave my attendance open. Here we go. Excellent. 
Okay, give me one second, please. I am going to open the platform. It's taking a lot of time. Okay, good. I was solving an issue here. Hello, Come good back. evening. Hello, good evening. Sorry, I was fixing something on uh, with my computer, but here I am. Well, so today we are going to work on this. Okay, we are going to work on the platform. I need you please to open your platform and to work along with me, even to check. Okay, tengan abierta su plataforma para ir chequeando junto con mí. Okay, so we can make sure that at the end of the night, all your bars and progress will be done and completed. Okay, we are going to start by section number four. Okay, we're going to start by section number four. And this is about a body language and the models that we have been studying these days. Okay, so in this section, we only have three exercises, right? We only have three exercises to complete. So let's go over them. In the first one, we did these gestures in class, okay? Do you remember? We did this in class and uh, we were answering the different uh, meanings of them. We said that for number one, the meaning was that sounds crazy. That, that sounds, sounds crazy. crazy. For number two, the meaning was? Come here. Come here. Come here. For Come number here. three, the meaning was? Be quiet. Be quiet, right? Be quiet. For number four, was? Peace. Peace, right? Peace. This was peace. And for number five, Good luck. Good luck. And for number six. Good luck. Good luck. Can number, hear me. Okay. For number five is. I can't hear you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Good luck is this one. And the yeah. last one is I can't hear you. I can't hear you, right? I can so, hear you. Very good. And this one is good luck. Good luck. Okay. It's not good look. It's good luck. Good, so there you go. Those were the exercises on the first one, right? The first evaluation was very simple. The second evaluation on section number four, okay, it's about the different uh, signs that we were studying yesterday. We were studying the different signs and it says, look, uh, lock your bites in the bike rack. And this one is, what picture picture f, picture f refers f. to this uh, to this sign lock, lock your bikes right lock is encadenar or uh, like asegurar lock your bikes in the bike rack the bike rack is the space for the bicycles no eating or drinking in the classroom Picture, picture a letter a picture a right the next one no playing ball in the hallway. No playing ball in the hallway. Picture H. Picture H. Keep the classroom door closed. D. Picture, picture D. D. Right? Keep the classroom door closed. It's picture D. Uh, no pets allowed on campus. Picture, picture C. This is picture C. What about throw all trash in the waste paper basket? Letter G. Letter G, right? Very good. The waste paper basket is la papelera. El basurero solamente para papeles. Waste paper basket. The garbage can, it's for all the types of garbage. 
also the bin, right? It's for all the types of garbage. But the waste uh, paper basket is only for papers and office things. Don't open the windows. Letter Picture e. e. Picture E, right? Picture E. And turn out the lights when leaving. Picture, Picture B. 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 Picture B, right? There you go. So there you have all these different signs, right? Correct. And here you have the last and the final exercise. In this one, you have a listening, right? This exercise is a listening. And they are going to talk about driving. I think we were working on this type of conversations as well this week. And it says, listen to the conversations about driving. We're going to choose true or false. The man hasn't had a parking ticket lately. That's the first one. Parking isn't allowed there during working hours. The fine, the fine, la multa, right? The fine for parking is $16. The woman is driving faster than the speed limit. There are other cars in her lane. The lane is reserved for buses and taxis. The other drivers are flashing their lights. He is driving with his lights on and the other drivers are giving him a warning. Let's go over this one just for you to practice listening and to get vocabulary is if it's needed, okay? Go ahead. Okay. Oh, my listening, my dear listening. There Page is. 96, exercise 11. Listening, what's in a sign? Part A, listen to three conversations about driving. Check true or false for each statement. One. Oh no, not another parking ticket. That's the second one this week. Why did I get a ticket for parking here? I thought this was a free parking zone. Maybe you can only park here after working hours. Is there a sign around anywhere? Oh, you're right. There's one over there. I didn't even notice it. Looks like you can't park here till after 6 p.m. How much is the fine? Would you believe it? Sixty dollars. Uh-huh. So tell me, the man hasn't had a parking ticket lately. Yes, no, and why? It's false. It's, it's the second is yes, it's the second one in the in the same week. It's the second one in the week, right? That's the that's the reason. Parking isn't allowed there during working hours. That is true. That is true, right? True. And the fine for parking is sixteen dollars. Yes, true. That's false. It is false. How much? Yes. Seven. False. How much is it? It is $60. $60, right? 60, not 16, 60. Okay. No son 16, 60. <laughs> so he's in El Salvador, maybe. That here we have very high fines. Okay, conversation number two. Two. I wonder why that traffic officer is signaling me. Perhaps he means you're driving too fast. No, I don't think so. The speed limit is 60, and I'm only going 55. Hmm. I wonder why there are no other cars in this lane. What do you mean? Well, you see how the other cars are all in the lane next to us? You're right. I think this one is just for buses and taxis. They really should put up better signs around here. Okay, that's why the police was following her. The woman is driving faster than the speed limit. Yes or no? False. False, False. right? How fast is she going? ¿Qué tan rápido va? How fast is she going? Five. Fifty? Fifty-five, right? Fifty-five. There are other cars in her lane. False. False. It's false, right? Because she's the only one there. 
because it is uh, a special it, it is a special line only for buses and taxis so she is in the incorrect place of the road and the last one three that's weird the last few cars driving toward us were flashing their lights i see what you mean there's another one maybe my lights are on or something let me check no they're off do you think there's an accident up ahead maybe you'd better slow down oh now i see what's happening there's a patrol car up ahead checking people's speed how nice of those other drivers to let me know well i'm within the speed limit at least i am now page okay so it happens here in el salvador as well right when you are driving and the other ones are flashing the lights it's because they are they want to tell you something the other drivers are flashing their lights for sure and does he have his lights on or off off they are off right off. he has them off so in this case this one is false. true it's true. false he's false. driving with his lights on false. it's false the other drivers are giving him a warning true it's true, true. right a true. warning is like without without warning warning right so those were the exercises for section four it was not really complicated because it was just about choosing the correct answer, right? There was no problem there. Section number five also has three exercises. So it is not that complicated. And this one is about conditionals, right? In this one you have, if you have three months to travel, where would you go? If you have three months to travel, where will you go? Which one is the correct sentence to complete this form that we have here? The first one. The first, the first one. The first what is the one. problem with the second one? The problem is the first person. Travels. 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 The letter S, S. S in travels. Very good. And it, the next one says, oh, that's easy. I fly to Antarctica. Or, oh, that's easy. I would fly to Antarctica. I have always wanted to go there. The second, the second, the second, one. The second one, because it says like, I will fly. I will fly to Antarctica. In this case, is the correct form, because if you say I fly to Antarctica, it's not a correct form of the sentence, right? If you're a doctor, you to get more exercise, which is sports, you, right? And you have two options here. If your doctor told you to get more exercise, which sports would you choose? Or if your doctor told you to get more exercise, which sports you choose? The first one. The first, first one. one. The first one is the complete <laughs> sentence and it is correct. You have the conditional and you have the modal, would, okay? The next one, I'm not sure, but I jogging two or three times a week. And we have the options. I'm not sure, but I might go jogging two or three times a week, or I'm not sure, but I go jogging two or three times a week. Which one yeah. is the sentence with the model? The first, the first one. one. The first one, the right? The first one. Might. Then, it might, the model might, very good. What would you do if your car broke down or what would you do your car broke down the first one the first, the first one. one this is one. easy the second one is missing the if clause so it's not possible to have it correct if i couldn't afford to fix it i walk everywhere if i don't afford to fix it i will have to walk everywhere if i couldn't afford to fix it i will have to walk everywhere which one is the correct one? The second one. The second, the second form. one. Would you break into your house if you lock yourself out? Or would you break into your house if you lock yourself out? The second, the second, the second one, one, right? You have here the verb in past. And the last one, if I didn't have another key, I will ask a neighbor for help. The if I didn't one. have another key, I will ask, one. 
right? Yeah. That is not the possible. first one. The first one. And there you go. You have it, right? You have all your sentences with the if clauses correct. Now, in this one, we have to choose the correct form of the verb. And it says, complete the conversations with the correct verb in the brackets. The cashier gave me too much change. What should I have? Done. Done, right? Done. Because in this case, you are talking about the unreal condition. What should I have done? Ah, you should have given it back, right? And you give an option. You should have, what is the, the form of the verb in here? Said. Said say. something. You yeah. should have said something. Debería haber dicho, right? In past. You shouldn't have taken. 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 Past participle, right? You shouldn't have taken the money. No debería haber tomado el dinero. And the next one. I ignore an email for someone I don't like. What would you have done? Done, done right? The past participle form. I will have to the person. Replay to the person. Replay. Reply. How do you write reply? With Y or with Reply. 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 With I, right? Reply. The next one. I was watching a good movie when the phone rang. What should I have done? Have done. What have done. should I have done? Right? You should have the call taken. Taken. Taken, right? And the pills, the person you will call her later. Oh. Told. Told. Told the person. Uh, you will call later and we left all our trash at the campsite what what would have done what would have done what would you have done yes i will have taken it with me and thrown thrown, away thrown later. in a way later right thrown it away later on very good job right in this case we were making use of the past participle forms of the verbs okay and the conditional forms what would you have done <clears throat> on real situations and in these ones we have ask amy we are going to do this one a little bit different because we're going to understand vocabulary i know you did it already but what is the meaning of confront in Spanish. Confront. Confrontar, right? What is the meaning of that in English? To make a fresh start? To find a solution? To challenge in a direct way? A strong and determined? A difficult problem? Or extremely worried or upset? Challenge in a direct way. way. To go and face the situation. That is to confront, right? <clears throat> distraught. What is the meaning of distraught? Did you find it? Did you Google it? Distraught. What is the meaning of this? Aha, nadie la buscó. ¿Qué pasó? What is the meaning of this throat? Huh? Nobody? Three, two, one. Google, my friend. It's, it's like crazy. Aha. Uh -huh. But what will be the meaning in this case? This throat. Haven't you worked on this exercise yet? Yes. Sure. Is yeah. extremely worried or upset. Yeah. Upset, right? Deeply upset. What is the meaning of upset when you are like kind of depressed and you're like, ah, oh, yeah, it's not possible, right? Distraught. It's extremely worried or extremely upset. Dilemma. What's a dilemma? It's a difficult problem. A difficult problem, right? You don't know if to eat pupusas today and tomorrow, or only today, or only tomorrow, 
That's a dilemma, right? A difficult problem. Firm. Firm. Strong and determined. Strong and determined, right? Firm. Strong and determined. Work things out. To work things out. What is the meaning of that? Thin out. Uh huh. Thin a solo. Find a solution. Find find a solution, right? To work things out. Imagine that you are you have a best friend and you fight. Okay, se pelean to, to, con su mejor amigo. You need to work things out <clears throat> for you to go back and become friends again. So you need to work things out and find a solution. Forgive and forget. Make, a, Make fresh, a fresh start. Make a fresh start, right? It's like borrón y cuenta nueva. Forgive and forget in English, right? That is the meaning of that. And those were the different answers for this ones. Now, I am going to ask you to help me with the reading. Let me see. Here I go. Let's start with Natalie. Help me with the first paragraph. Dear Amy, someone told me that my brother's girlfriend was dating another guy. I felt I should let my brother know, and after I did, he decided to confront her with the story. They had a terrible argument, and although she denied the rumor, they broke up. Now it turns it turns out that the rumor wasn't true and my brother isn't speaking to me right sorry for your brother he's, right right he was he's not speaking to you anymore daisy the next one dear amy my song is 23 years old dear amy my son is 23 years old fin he finished college that year but he can't seem to find a job he likes. He still lies at home, and I'm worried that he's not trying hard enough to get a job and support myself. My, meanwhile, meanwhile, I've been cooking his meal and doing his laundry. Okay, very good. Remember, he still lives at home. Lives. Okay, the next one is worried. Worried. Himself. Himself. Meals. Meals. Laundry. Laundry. Okay, very good job. Thank you very much, Daisy. Thank you. Ana Julia, can you help me with the next one? I am going to point it out for you. Just give me one second. We're going to go with the one up here. I went to the movies. Mm. Dear Amy, I went to the movies with my best friend, uh, her younger brother. She wasn't feeling well. So afterwards, the, he drove me home while we were driving. He told me he had, he had keep, keep it. Skip. School, skip school that day taking his mother, mother's car and going to the beach, my dilemma, dilemma in should I tell my friends about this? Should I tell my friend about this, right? Yeah, he went to the beach in his mother's car. Elmer Mauricio, go ahead. This one, you should have thought. You should have thought more carefully. Carefully? Be carefully before you acted. I wasn't necessary to get angry angry. Next time is speak to the child immediately. Immediately. I'm sorry, teacher. Immediately. Immediate immediately. Immediately. 
warm him not to the, do and again. And warm him not to do it again. And warn him not to do it again. Very good. Let's see. I am going to go with the next one. The one here down. Nelson, can you help me please? This one. You are making it too easy. Here to making it too easy for him to stay where he is. Be feel and tell him. He has two months to find a job and get own place. It's all enough to take care of himself. But you have to be willing to let him go. Very good. You are making it too easy for him uh, to stay where he is. Be firm and tell him he has two months to find a job and get his own place, right? Dos meses he bye bye, right? <laughs> so he needs to find a job in his <laughs> own place. Saul, can you help me with the last one here in the middle? I will suggest. Okay, teacher. Uh, I will suggest you keep quiet. Let them wor work things up for themselves. If you say something, you could damage your friendship with both of them. Very good, very good job. And I think we have a, we have the last one, Emma, can you help me with this one? Well, you've learned the lesson. Well, you've learned a lesson. You shouldn't have listened to go, go, go gossip, gossip. Go and you shouldn't have passed it on. No, you have to repair the damage. The damage. The damage. Apologize. 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 Apolo Apologize. Apologize sincerely and hope he will forgive and forget. Very good. Apologize sincerely and hope he will forget and forget. Right, forgive and forget. And there you have the different uh, sentences that we were working on the vocabulary. Now, my dear students, we are going to go over the last part of this that are the final evaluations, right? And on these ones, we have five, I'm sorry, four exams, right? We have four exams. In the listening, you have conversations and conditionals. Okay, let's go over each of them and you are going to be giving me the answer according to what you listen, okay? Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Hey, Wanda, did you hear about that teacher who won the lottery? Yes, I still can't believe he's going to keep teaching. Why not? He loves his job. What's wrong with that? Well, if I won that much money, I'd quit my job immediately. That's because you don't like your job. If you had a job that you really liked, you might not want to give it up. Maybe. But even if you like your job, there are so many other things to do in life. So if Wanda won the lottery, what will she do? She will keep working, get a job, or quit her job? She will quit her job. She will quit her job. It's like if quit I win her job. If I win the lottery, bye-bye, here you have your job. Bye. <laughs> and you leave it. The next one. If Phil had the same choice as last night's winner, he... Let's see. Two. Do you watch that TV game show, Phil? The one where the winner has to choose between two prizes? I watch it sometimes. Why? Well, I couldn't believe what last night's winner did. She must have been crazy. Why? What were her choices? A three-month boat trip on the Amazon River or a new car. I know which I'd choose. I'd take the car. You wouldn't believe the repair bills I have on my old car. Besides, I wouldn't be able to take three months off work. So which did the winner choose, the car or the trip? Like you, she chose the car. Okay, very good. If Phil had the same choice as last night's winner, he will... Chose the new car. He will have he will chose the new car, right? Carl says he will have, and here we have the options. Three. 
How are you enjoying working at that new restaurant? I love it, Carl. The food's great, so it's crowded every night. But what's the money like? Oh, it's much better than my last job. The customers are so happy with the food that the tips are pretty good. But I feel bad about something that happened last night. Why? What happened? I served a group of foreigners. It must have been their first meal in this country. Anyway, they gave me a huge tip. I think they got confused with the currency. So, what did you do? Nothing. What would you have done? I would have told them the tip was too big. Ah. Four. What's wrong? Okay. Carl says he will have returned the tip, keep the big tip, or left a big tip. Oh. Return it, right? He will have returned it. It's like too big, right? Maybe you got confused. And the last one says, according to Bruce, Tina should have, and let's listen to this one. Wrong, Tina. You look upset. Actually, I am. I did something wrong, but I still don't know what I should have done. What happened? Well, my English teacher has a rule about cell phones. At the beginning of class, she always reminds us to switch them off. I don't blame her. Cell phones shouldn't be allowed in classrooms. Well, I agree, Bruce, but I was waiting for an important call from my parents. My grandmother is in the hospital. So I didn't switch off my cell. Don't tell me. It rang in class. Yeah, right during our final quiz. What did she do? She asked me to leave the room. I feel terrible. What should I have done? I think you probably should have explained your predicament before the quiz. This is the end of the audio. Okay, so in this case, according to Bruce, what could have been the best solution? You should have switch off her phone. Oh, dear student not to use their cell phone in class. Uh -huh. According to Bruce, Tina should have talk the teacher, told the, talk teacher, the teacher about, about her, her grandmother. Mom. Okay, so she could have had permission in order to answer, but is that, is that for <laughs> The first, first one, one, right? The first. What is the correct thing? She should have told the teacher, but according to the platform, told her students not to use the cell phones in class. <laughs> For me, this was the correct answer, but it's correct. Okay, the platform, it's the platform. So there you go. So that was the first one. According to Bruce, Tina should have told her students not to use their cell phones in class. The next one, the next one is to complete the conversations. This is very similar to the one that we had in exercise five. So I am going to ask you to help me to complete it. Ana Julia, what is the correct form of sentence in the first exercise? Read only the correct sentence. Al que le toque va a decir solo la oración correcta. Okay. What is the sentence that's, that has the uh, if clause and the model on it? <coughs> if your doctor told you to, to get more exercise wishes or would you choose? Exactly like that. Here you have the if clause and the model. So in this case, it's the first one. What about number two? Elmer, help me. The microphone, sweetie, it's off. There you go. Do you have a model in the second sentence or in the first one? No, in the first one, teacher. In the first one, right? The next one, I am going to ask uh, Elvia Sofia. What about the next one? Uh, 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 part two, or teacher. Number two, huh? Yes. Um, 
What would you do if your car broke down? Very good. What would you do if your car broke down? Very good. Sandra and Annette, the next one. The number three? A letter B. This oh. one. Uh, is if couldn't effort to fix, it will have to make to work everywhere. If I couldn't afford to fix it. Very good. Number three. It's going to be for Pablo. Can you help me, Pablo? Yes, teacher. Yes. Number three. Um. Which is the correct sentence? Um, if you had uh, three months to travel, where would you go? To travels or to travel? To travels. This one. ¿Qué dice el público? The first, the first one. one. The first Remember one. that after that after the infinitive two, the verb is normal, right? It's a normal verb. The next one, it's travel, travel. Sara Maria, what about the last one? Oh, that's easy. Uh -huh. Sarita. Sara Maria. Let's see, let's see. Marbelli. The last one. Marbelli Jocelyn. Hello. The second one. Thank you, Saul. Thank you very much. Okay, people, please, if you are just listening, at least I need you to be close to the audio. So in any case, I call you, you can answer. Marbelli says that she's having problems with the internet. That's correct. But I need you to be there pendant of the class, okay? Thank you very much. Let's go with the next one. Rewriting sentences. This is a very huge problem because when you have to type sentences, it's complicated. Que el espacio, que no sé qué, que la letra, que la mayúscula. So you have to be very careful on this one. Turn the lights, turn out the lights before you leave. Have two. What is the correct form of this sentence? You have to turn, I'm sorry, I am writing in capitals. You have to turn out the lights before you leave, period, okay? Question me, Nati. Why is turn out the lights? Turn That's out. Simple. You can say turn out. It's the same as like uh, apagalas, desactivalas, turn out. Okay, turn off is the same meaning. Okay, turn off is like apagalas. It's the same thing, but you can use turn out and turn off with the lights. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's the second option for turn off. It's like apagar o desactivar. Turn out is desactivar. Turn off is apagar. So that is uh, the, the meaning of that one. The next one, can't eating or you drinking in the classroom. You can't eat or you drink in the classroom. Drink. You can't eat or drink in the classroom. And uh, there you go. And what about the next one? I am using the incorrect apostrophe. There you go. Let's see. Yes. <laughs> Do you see the apostrophe? You have to be very careful. And take off your shoes here. Allow. You're allowed. Uh -huh. to, to take off. To take, take off. off your shoes. Here. 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 Okay. You are allowed to take off your shoes here. What happened? Oh. You're not, teacher. You to are. To take off. 
to take off your uh, shoes. You sh your shoes and point. Shoe. Yeah, I, I'm. Ah, uh, okay. Here, without yeah. here. It's true. It does. It is not included in this sentence. You should write it, but yes, in this answer in the platform, you don't have to write here. You are allowed to take off your shoes. There you go. So those were the three sentences here to complete this little paragraph. Here you have the answers for you to remember them, right? And here you have the options. You have or you've, you can't, and you are allowed or you are allowed. Okay, you have the, the options there. And the final exam for the platform is the reading, right? We have a reading here about body language. We had this one yesterday as part of the last section, and I am going to share it with all of you. Here we have four sentences. People communicate with others, people communicate with one another using only words, words and body language, or only facial expressions. How do you communicate with others, people? Words and body words language. Words and body language. Words and body language, right? Body language includes interpretations, words and gestures, postures, facial expressions, expressions and gestures. The three. <laughs> And and gestures. Gesture, facial expression yes. and gesture. gestures 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 okay. a smile can show friendliness interest and so in, sometimes sometimes politeness 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 politeness, politeness. 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 someone who points a finger at you Maybe friendly. Angry. Hello, good morning. Angry. 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 Angry, right? Angry. Because for sure, it is not nice to point out someone with your finger, okay? You don't say like, hi, good morning. How are you? No, right? It's only if you are angry, you point at your finger at someone. So, Let's go over the reading. That will be the final exercise that we will do over the platform. And let's see, body language, what does it say? And I am going to go over here and I'm going to ask a volunteer who wants to help me to read the first paragraph, okay? No lo vamos a hacer obligatorio. Let's do it, volunteer. The first paragraph. Only one. Ana Julia, go ahead. More that half of, of one we commun communicate is, is communicate not strong words, but strong body language. This includes our, our posture Posture facial expression and gestures because body language is so important. You want to know what you is saying and how to, inter to interpret it or other people too. Here are some some examples of body of body language and is its meaning okay its meaning? there you go and its meaning okay let's just stop here people how do you pronounce this one half how do you pronounce half. it half 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 half, half. half. More half. than half of what we communicate, communicate, communicate. is communicated. Communicate. 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 communicated. 
Communicate, communicate it. Not through words. Not through words. But through words. But through body language. Body language. Body language. Body language. Body language. Body language. This includes our posture. Posture. This includes posture. our posture. This includes facial our facial expression. Facial expression. expression. And gestures. And gestures. And gestures. Because body language is so important. Because, because body, body language, language, language is so important. Is so important. Language, language. 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 You will want to know what yours is saying and how to interpret other people's to interpret. You will want to know what yours is saying and how to interpret 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 other people too. Here are some Inner examples press. of body language. Of body language. Here are some samples of body language. Of language. And it's meaning. And it's meaning. And it's meaning. Meaning. It's meaning. Okay. Let's continue here. Meaning. Okay. Let's continue here. And it says, note, these note. meanings are for North America. Interpretations may differ a bit in other cultures, right? These are the meanings of these expressions in North America, right? Maybe here in El Salvador, they are different. Maybe in another country, they are different. Let me just erase my things. Let me see, there you go. And it says, if your posture is slumped and your head is down, slump is like, when you go like, like this, like Quasimodo, right? When your posture is slumped and your head is down, this could mean that you are sad or lack confidence, okay? No anden caminando por la vida encorvado, así, right? Because it means that you lack confidence. Practice with me. If, you're, if your posture is slumped and your head is down, this could mean that you are sad or lack confidence. If your posture is slumped and your head is down, this could mean that you are sad or lack confidence. Lack, lack. lack confidence. Te, te falta confianza, lack right? Confidence. Lack confidence. If your posture is straight but relaxed, you are expressing confidence and friendliness. If your posture, if your posture is right, but relaxed, you are expressing confidence and friendly. Friendliness. Okay, very good. Friendliness. Okay, amistad. Okay, you are a friendly person. A smile, a smile is a sign of friendliness and interest. But people sometimes smile just to be polite. To get another. Oh, sorry, I, go smile. Ahead. I smile. I smile. I smile. I smile. It's a sign of friendly, friendly interesting, but, but people, people, people sometimes smile, smile just, just to be polite. polite. To get another clue from people's faces, notice their eyes. To get another clue. To get another clue from people is not in their eyes. Eyes, eyes. Eyes, no, eyes, no, eyes. Eyes. Eyes, eyes. Friendliness and interest are expressed. Friendliness and interest. Friendliness and interest are expressed. Friendliness with the person I meet yours. yours, especially when you are the one who's talking. Okay, when you make eye contact with the person, right? And then look away and meet yours again. And then look away and meet yours again. A person who doesn't look away is expressing a challenge, okay? A person that is looking at you and they don't move their eyes, that is expressing a challenge. A person who doesn't look at you is expressing lack of interest or is shy. Go with me. 
a person who doesn't look always, uh, sorry, a person who doesn't look away is expressing a challenge. A person, a person who doesn't look away is expressing a challenge. A person who doesn't look at you expressing lack of interest or shy. Or is shy. Or is shy. Or okay. is shy. Hand gestures can mean a person is interested in the conversation. Um, and gestures and mean a person is interested in, in the conversation, repeated moments, movements, like taping a pencil or taping a fool. Okay, hand gestures, gestures. Hand gestures. Hand gestures. Okay, but repeated gestures. movements, repeated movements like tapping a pencil, tak 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 tak, tak or tapping a foot. Or tapping a foot. Tapping a foot is when you are moving tapping your foot. Tapping a fool. Often mean the person is either. Often mean. Often mean the person. Often mean the person is either impatient or nervous. Or nervous. A stay away oh, from someone who points at, at you while talking with you. Stay away, stay away from someone away who points from at you while talking with you. You are taking with you. Talking, taking, no, talking. Talking, talking with you. Talking with you. That person might be angry at you or feel superior to you. That person might be angry at you or feel superior to you. Superior to you. Superior to you. Okay, good. So that was the platform. People, I need you please to send me a screenshot of the progress with the platform complete, okay? Ya avanzamos todo, ya lo hicimos todo, hicimos los ejercicios. I need you please to send me your progress, okay? When? Complete. Okay? Complete. Yes. You if you have it complete, yeah. I need you to send me the screenshot on the group, okay? Send me the screenshot so we can prove that we finished. Okay. Ahí nos queda ya la prueba de que hemos terminado todos y eh, ya todo el grupo tiene que tener su, eh, su comprobante de que ya está todo listo. Okay. So, do that. I'm going to call the attendance right now. Si lo tienen ya, envíenmelo ya. Les voy a tomar asistencia. Okay. Remember, when you listen to your name, say here or present. And here I go. Here I go. Here I go. Okay. Yes. yes. Eh, Ana Juli. Present. Byron Rafael. Present teacher. Carlos Fernando. Present teacher. Cristina Vigail. Damaris Merari. Present teacher. Daisy Magdalena. Present teacher. Elizabeth del Carmen. Present teacher. Elmer Mauricio. Present teacher. Elvia Sofía. Present. Emma Jamilet. Present. Giselle Cecilia. Giselle Cecilia. Iris Rosario. Present teacher. Manuel Alejandro. Present. Marbelli, she said on the chat, present. Marlon Ernesto. Present teacher. Natalie Geraldine. Natalie. Nelson Rolando. Present. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Oscar Eduardo. Pablo present. Reyes. Present. Thank present. you. Thank you, Oscar. Present teacher, present. Patricia Veronica. Patricia Veronica. René David. Present teacher. Sandra Yanet. I'm here. Sara María. Present teacher. And Saúl Arnulfo. 
Present teacher. Perfect. So my dear students, I need you please to send me the picture. Send me the picture of your complete platform, right? Thank you to the ones who already okay. sent it. It's okay, así como la envié. Está bien, así como la mandé. <laughs> it's okay, así como la envié. <laughs> I like that. the the two, Spanglish two language. <laughs> yeah, the two languages. Yeah, but uh, let me see. Yeah, but what I need to see is the 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 bars. The bars should be complete. Like for uh, example, okay. this one. Let me just show you the one. bars. Yeah, the bars that are all of them okay. are complete. Okay, understand. Yeah, exactly as what. Okay, let me see. Así como hicimos el módulo pasado, les iba a decir, yo no los tuve. But here we have exactly like this, right? That you can send the bars complete. Okay. Where it says progress, you can see it there. You can take a screenshot and you should have everything done. Okay. So I will be receiving this today. So please, please, please complete it. If you have any problems or any questions, yes, Saul. I have problem in this answer I sent in the chat in the in the Zoom. Uh, you are allowed to take you are allowed to take off your shoes. I don't what, know what is my mistake. Okay, the 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 sentence is correct. You are allowed to take off your shoes, and that's good. The only thing that you don't need to put is here, but in this one you are allowed. Te falta el verbo to be. You are allowed. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. Thank you. Yes, you are allowed. That's what what is missing. Okay. So, uh, if you have any further question, there you go. You are allowed to take off your shoes. There you go. So, thank you, my dear students. Thank you for the ones that are sending the pictures. I need to receive all your twenty five pictures today. Okay. Thank you very much. And I will see you on Monday for your next class. On Monday, we're going to cover the last section and the normal activities. We're going to have a lot of practice. So, because we're going to be free. El lunes, como vamos a estar libres de todo pecado de plataforma, <laughs> vamos a tener un montón de práctica. So, have a wonderful night. And I will see you on Monday for another class. Bye-bye. See you on Monday. Bye-bye. Good night. Thank you.